the more often we hit that button for dopamine and sugar hits mm -hmm. the button on dopamine. It's the neurotransmitter responsible, ironically, for addiction. <laughs> and we may hit it in tiny little ways hundreds of times in grade school before we even develop an overeating issue. Um, now, mm -hmm. some people will say by the time they ended grade school that they were overweight, they already developed an issue with food. Um, and some of us are just more prone to that. Some of us are more sensitive to sugar. And I'm not against sugar. I do like sugar. So this isn't an anti-sugar episode. Um, but what happens is that we're hitting those dopamine receptors. And before we know it, um, and I, I want to include in that holidays, uh, birthdays, special events, yep. Fridays. Yep. Who, who are my Friday people that love lots of food on Friday? Saturday, uh, Sunday before the week begins. Wednesday, because it's midweek and it's been a stressful week, right? So we're hitting that dopamine. And what's happening, yep. if, if you could see me, if, you, if you're watching this on video, um, but it's almost like the scales of justice, right? So the more often I hit dopamine, the more often the body has to raise cortisol. Um, and, and it's a little bit more complex than, than that, but I'm making it really simple. Yep. And what happens, because the body is actually working overtime, is it actually decreases the amount of dopamine that we're getting from the sugar hits, right? And you say, okay, well, that, that sounds like that's a good thing. Well, <laughs> in theory, yes. However, because our body remembers the dopamine hit, it wants it back. And so it keeps eating. This is where <laughs> overeating comes from. This is where binge eating will come from. And this is where the grazing comes from because I'm trying to hit that dopamine receptor. My brain remembers, you know, that Halloween that I ate so much candy that I felt physically ill when I was as a kid and it remembers the rush of that and it mm -hmm. craves and longs for that but because, but because your body gets annoyed with you it's called neural adaptation so it's not actually annoyed it's just helping you out um but because of neural adaptation what happens is the, the body says hey you're doing this a lot you're making me work overtime so mm -hmm. what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually decrease the dopamine output when you have sugar uh, and and now what happens is that we create tolerance 